Dolly's on this one. What's on Saguaro? There's another boat on Saguaro. It's a different boat. It's the unknown boat at Saguaro Lake. <laughs> Dolly steamboat's here. We have It's taken a different that. steamboat. It's not Dolly. It's not even actually steam, I don't think. It's a boat. <laughs> hey, roamers. Let's roll that intro. Hey Roomers, it's Jamie back at you again. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you will be notified next time we put out a new video. So this little white church that we're looking at here, it's called the Elvis Church. The reason it's called the Elvis Church is because this church was used in a movie that Elvis was in called Charo. Charo was a Western movie filmed in 1969. Uh, apparently it's the only movie that Elvis never sang in. Now this church and a barn that's also located out here at the museum were both part of Apache Land Movie Ranch. It was built in 1959 by the gentleman who helped Walt Disney design Disneyland. Apache Land opened in 1960, and a lot of old B-Western movies were filmed out here along with some uh, TV Westerns. Now in February of 2004, uh, most of Apache Land burned down. The only thing that was salvageable was the uh, church and the barn. They were both eventually donated to the museum. So this is the barn that was donated to the museum the same time as the church. Uh, one thing I noticed when we were walking up there, uh, there's a blacksmith. Uh, apparently it's a working blacksmith because he was talking to a gentleman there and they were, uh, the blacksmith was doing some work uh, as we were walking by. Also as you can see, there's a gentleman over here who's panning for gold. And then going into the barn, there were some vendors selling Christmas stuff uh, for the season. One of the things we really enjoyed was this train exhibit. Um, it's G model scale, um, 400 square feet of area, and then 1,500 feet of uh, train track really cool. It's something that if you get out in this area you should really check it out. The detail is just incredible. This view here basically gives you an idea of how big the exhibit really is. When I originally walked up to this big piece of machinery, I didn't know what it was, and then I read the plaque. It's a stamp mill. They used to use it to separate gold and silver from the ore. This stamp mill was originally from New Mexico. It was built in 1914, and it was used in a mining operation about an hour and a half north of uh, Albuquerque. After we left the museum, we continued on and went to Goldfield Ghost Town. It's an old mining town. It's about two miles east of the museum. So we're out near the Superstitions. This is a ghost town. It's called Goldfield. 
Uh, some of it's the original, some of it's been uh, recreated. Apparently it was uh, established in 1893, so. Old mining town. Been on this train before, it goes uh, kind of around the park and they talk about the area a little bit, so. where you get your train tickets. Lucky for us, when we showed up, we got there just in time to be able to see the traditional old western town gunfight. When we left Goldfield, we decided to go ahead and take a drive and went out and checked out Canyon Lake and uh, finished the day with Tortilla Flats. Hey Roamers, so we're out here on the Apache Trail. We're just a couple miles from the campground at Last Dutchman and um, this is just a little stop. There's a whole bunch of viewpoints along the way towards the lakes here and um, that's Weaver's Needle way back there so this is a viewpoint for that. Weaver's Needle is part of the Superstition Mountains. And it's named for Pauline Weaver, who was an explorer in the 1800s.
guys, we're here at Canyon Lake. Um, in the summertime, this is packed. Boats everywhere. Even in the winter, it can be. It's just it's particularly freezing by... Well, her idea of freezing is anything below 50. That's not necessarily freezing. So, so the lake isn't very full of people. Some people fishing along the shore today. Um, if you have a boat, of course, it's definitely worth picking a good weekend and coming out here. But if you don't, there's the Dolly Steamboat. They take um, passengers for, I think there's a dinner cruise and stuff yeah. like that. But there's also some really good tours on it. And they'll tell you the history of the lake. Now is Dolly Steamboat on this lake? Yeah. Or is it on Saguaro? Dolly's on, on this one. What's on Saguaro? There's another boat on Saguaro. A different boat. It's the unknown boat at Saguaro Lake. <laughs> Dolly Steamboat's here. We have it's taken a different that. steamboat. It's not Dolly. It's not even actually steam, I don't think. It's a boat. <laughs> so this lake is um, one of the four lakes that are part of the Salt River Project. If you could just imagine how gorgeous this canyon would have been before they filled it with water. Um, it's kind of like Glen Canyon, though. Glen like Canyon's the same way. That's lake where they Powell. filmed. Yeah, that's where they filmed the movie. Uh, the greatest story ever told with Max von Sydow, where he played Jesus, was filmed there before they dammed it up and created uh, Lake Powell. So. From Lost Dutchman State Park, where we camped and hiked, the Superstition Mountain Museum, Goldfield, and finally here in Tortilla Flat, the legend of the Dutchman, Jacob Waltz, and the secret Peralta gold mine lives on. Seekers of the gold have met with foul play and even death contributing to the folklore that surrounds these Superstition Mountains. As you can see, we've hit the end of the trail, literally, Apache Trail ends right here in Tortilla Flat. So thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We'll see you next week with a new video. <laughs> You're tilting it all over the place, I don't know. Okay, just start talking. Should I go this way, that way? <laughs> you okay. have to have license out here. I need to quit doing that. What? I keep doing that over and over and over what? and over and over with this. Well, it's in my face. It's okay, sticking to my keep, lips. But you keep doing it. And okay, it looks like you got some nervous tick. <laughs> okay. You try to have your hair and stick to your lips. Hey. You know? Hey. It sticks to your hey. lips. Hey. It's not fun. Hey. Hey. Okay, we'll just hey. show the dam. I mean, the lake now. <laughs> we'll take Jamie out of it. Yeah, take me out of it. <laughs> Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. Say subscribe. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. There you go. And ring that bell. Okay, rumors, let's wrap it up.